So it's early, real, real early. I wasn't even planning on waking up this early. And then I got my phone literally blown up. I think my phone went from 100% battery to 0% battery. After the Philadelphia Eagles made a trade, sending a fourth-round pick to the Miami Dolphins for Jay Ajayi. Um, well, uh, blockbuster trade, not exactly who I thought. I mean, I made a video that I think came out literally like an hour ago talking about the top three trades that I think the Philadelphia Eagles could potentially make. Uh, Frank Gore, we were, that was a big rumor. Frank Gore is coming to Philadelphia. We had maybe the pipe dream of LaShawn McCoy, but no, they're getting Jay Ajayi. Now I don't know. Literally I'm texting my buddy right this second. who's a big time Dolphin fan. Uh, can he pass pro? Because that's pretty much the big thing. We, I think Jay Ajayi, that's a tremendous pickup from a running back standpoint. I mean, our running backs have been fine. We, Clement, Smallwood, LeGarrette Blunt, they have been serviceable. But the issue was they can't pass protect. We needed, uh, if we weren't going to be able to land a tackle, we needed a running back who could be out there and play some, play some pass pro. And my buddy just said he's not terrible in pass pro, which is better than what we've had. Because like I said, for some unexplained reason, LeGarrette Blunt was absolutely terrible in pass protection. Smallwood can't pass protect, obviously really small. And Clement's not really built to be like all those good. Well, maybe Clement, what's Clement? Like 210, 215? Either way, Jay Ajayi is now a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. That is absolutely insane. For a fourth rounder, that's the big thing. If you told me last night that the Philadelphia Eagles made a trade for Jay Ajayi, I'd be like, oh no. They, they gave up something big. They either traded a player that we shouldn't have been able to trade for, or like like they gave up like Michael Kendricks or something like that. We're just like, oh no, that's not going to make sense. Or like somehow, some way, there's been people saying, "Oh man, should Philadelphia trade Alshon Jeffrey? Is Alshon Jeffrey in the trade mix?" And um, a fourth rounder, though, that is some because we have three fourth round picks. The way I see it is this: um, JJ was picked as a fourth round pick from the Miami Dolphins from Boise State, and the reason why he was picked as fourth round pick from Boise State is because he had a bone on bone knee knee injury. And people thought that he'd never be able to... He'd never be able to really establish himself in the NFL. And he's actually done the complete opposite of that. Like, I mean, as someone that's watched a couple Dolphins games this year, it's been frustrating watching them play because Jay Jai has been doing good. They're just not running the ball. And obviously, that comes a little bit back to their offensive line. But, I mean, for the most part, Jay Jai's looked good. He's looked really, really good. And, um, you know, look, just looking at his body of work. You know what I'm saying? From the last two years... I firmly believe that J.H.I. was the big reason why the Dolphins made the playoffs last year because it seemed like every other week he was rattling off 200 yards, putting the team on his back. In Philadelphia, J.H.I. is not going to need to do that. We need J.H.I. to really what we need J.H.I. to do from what our team has been lacking is pass protect. We're bringing in this guy who can certainly play like a top 10 running back. How old is J.H.I.? I'm literally, I'm recording. I went downstairs. It's J.H.I. He's 25, probably? 26? He's 24. Jay Jai is 24 years old. And uh 24. And we give off he was a fifth round pick. He's 24 and we're Okay. Um I I'm, I actually I actually can't uh uh I can't explain this one. Um, uh, I'm speechless. Literally, a fourth round pick for that. It makes no sense. Last year, he had 1,200 yards. He had eight touchdowns. He had almost 30 catches. He can catch the ball in the backfield. Better hands of the gear. You know, it's one of those things where the only negative is like you may affect the chemistry of the running backs. The running backs may be unhappy. Obviously, they're not going to be getting as many touches. I mean, are they going to release LeGarrette Blunt? Are those guys even worth having roster spots anymore? More so, it is LeGarrette Blunt. Because, you know, at 7 1, you don't want to mess with the chemistry. You don't want to mess with the locker room. But, I mean, we're not subtracting anyone. So, I guess from that standpoint, everyone's job's still intact. It's just another mouth to feed in this team that's very much been a running back by committee so far. Um,. I guess last thing we can kind of analyze here is what is JHI's contract looking like? Does he have... He's not in a contract year, is he? He still has one more year. <laughs> that, that makes no sense. I'm going to be kind of... JHI still has one more year. Next year, he has... For a fourth-round pick, running backs are a dime a dozen. That's one thing you need to know. But JHI is a proven, proven running back. If he was getting... um. 
you know, all those same amount of carries he was getting as he was in 2016, because obviously this 2017 hasn't been as productive as you would like to be. But the fact that he still is on pace this year, like maybe for this year, he is a half. Like he's on pace this season for probably a thousand yards. He has no touchdowns on the year, and I think that's a big product of the offensive line for the Miami Dolphins. They've had a terrible offense. That offense has been terrible, absolutely terrible. So this, what this is here, is Adam Gase, who is very much in the mold of a Chip Kelly. Adam Gase is a kind of offensive mind guy that when he walks in the room, he thinks he's the smartest guy there, and he's seeing his team not producing whatsoever. He's he's just going, what is going on with this team? We need to make a change. And he got frustrated. This is like a fr- he's like a rage quit. This is what this seems like. Giving up JGI, who still is on a rookie deal. Like that is the unexplainable thing for me. JGI next year, he's still on his rookie deal. He's getting he has a seven hundred K cap hit next season. The fact that you're trading him for a fourth round pick a year ago, he was your MVP. There's been no injury. There has been nothing of the like. That makes absolutely no sense. Um, I don't know, guys. You guys need to let me know because I know I just woke up. I can't fully digest everything of this deal. But uh, I, 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 this is good. This is very, very good. Because if we can't make the move for the tackle, even though I like LeGarrette Blunt, even though I still will reminisce about that beast quake run that the LeGarrette Blunt had against the Chargers earlier on, Philadelphia going into next year, our first round, it was it was either we're getting a tackle or we need a running back. We're going to try to get Saquon Barkley. There's somehow some way Saquon Barkley's going to fall to us. We're going to look at Darius Geis, Bryce Love, yada, yada, yada. We now have Jay Zion in the books, baby. So our needs for next year have already been kind of filled for one point. So now the day's not young. This is like this is the first video. There still may be another video here. Everyone was saying Eagles are going to try to be the most aggressive team yet. Uh, Jay Glazer, all these people. So we may not be done with Philadelphia. They may be trying to still lead a tackle. But as it stands right now, we just crossed off a major draft need for next season. I'm absolutely hyped. Let me know what you guys feel about it in the comments section below. Smash the like button if you're hyped. And welcome Jay Jai to the team. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, C4 saying peace out.